So after Sukuna dealt with the special grade Yuji and the gang were fighting, he's like, Yo, boy, we can switch back now. Hello, I know you're in there, brat. But Yuji wasn't switching back. And this is where Sukuna realizes Yuji is in a deeper sleep than Justin Gaethje at UFC 300. Look at this devious ass smile. You already know my boy is on BT. Bad timing. But Megumi outside over here chilling, being emo as shit. Like, bro, you gotta lighten up. You're scaring the hose away. How me and you gonna go on a two-man when you moving like this? Gotta respect the all-black fit, though. I can't lie. Looking like John Wick up in this bitch. But anyways, he senses that the special grade was taken down and he was hella suspicious because he did not have faith in Yuji to clutch out the win. So we trying to figure it all out and where did Sukuna come from? Bro was moving like Batman. I'm not hiding in the shadows. I am the shadows, Megumi. This is how things are gonna go. I'm gonna whoop your ass and go massacre everyone else in this city. But before that, I'm gonna take my shirt off. Treat me like what is. Don't get me dirty. So after my boy is done making a thirst trap on TikTok, he rips Yuji's heart out of his body so that if he tried to switch back, he would die. Megumi me over here like, oh nah, this man is a D1 crash out dummy. He will do anything it takes to groom this man, looking like EDP out here. And to kick things off, Megumi someone just burst Shikigami to help him fight Sukuna. And Sukuna's over here locking in, slicking his hair back, trying to look like a smooth criminal while dishing out these ass whoopings. But bro was on his drunken master timing because he is effortlessly weaving Megumi with no problems, putting my boy into the spin cycle. He got him dizzy. Now his bird spins back to sneak Sukuna because y'all gotta remember this is JJK. We don't respect the ones around here. We jump in. Regardless though, he is weaving both Megumi and his Shikigami at the exact same time. Looking like UI Goku and Megumi tries to follow up with another combo. Sukuna blocks his left. 360 dodges his right. Catches his leg kick with one arm. Ducks the other one. Weaves all of these punches then grabs Megumi to bring him face to face just to tell him to Boy, you moving like Celtic Shacks right now. Washed. Then backhands this man in the most disrespectful way possible. And he's looking at him the same way I look at bro when I don't got money to pay for my food. A man's gotta eat somehow. But anyways, Megumi sends out a snake Shikigami catching Sukuna by surprise. Taking him up into the air so that the snake and the bird can jump Sukuna. And they were getting a few blows in, I'm not gonna lie. But Sukuna got the biggest smile on his face, looking like he enjoying all of this. Like the sick f he is. Then bursts out the snake, killing him. Spawns behind Megumi and throws this man like a football half across the map. As he's flying through the air, Megumi opens his eyes. Just to see this man Sukuna hitting a soccer knee slice celebration before absolutely booming him into these buildings. Megumi hits his satellite, propelling him back up into the air just for Sukuna to teleport, hitting him with the left hand of God. Sending him through approximately 45 buildings, causing more property damage than the Avengers on a regular Tuesday. But Megumi Swift swoops in to save him from any further beating. And on a real note though, Sukuna has been putting the paws on this boy up to this point. He looking like John Jones out there, just mercilessly dominating him. Sukuna wasn't gonna let him get away though. He pulls out the crash out dummy signature, aka the double hammer fist, sending him and the Sukugami into this building. Now, nothing really crazy happened after this, other than Yuji switching back with Sukuna and deleting himself from the world. But to wrap things up, I just wanna say we're super close to 1,500 subscribers, and I know most of y'all will be watching all my videos without subbing. So if you're gonna watch, you might as well hit that big red button. But until next time, peace out.